Wrestling fans, Brian Blitz here, and welcome to another exciting edition of Superstars of the Ring here at ccwrestling.biz. On this week's show, we're going to talk about a big, huge three-way match that took place recently. Excuse me, took place recently. Three-way? Is it three-way match? Yes, a three. Should have been. Should have been a, a four-way dance for that belt. You know what? You why? think Donnie should have been in the match? No, 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 no. Better idea. Name and lights. You got Jamie McKinnon, and you got Logan Seaman, and you got Paul Malu, blah, blah, blah. Frankie Morris, the new CCW world champion. How's that sound, dude? Well, you know, over the resounding noise of your entrance music constantly playing the way that it should, it's kind of hard to hear how it sounds. But who knows? You may have a future. Hmm. You hear that, Brian? Let's show a little bit of respect for once. You hear that, everybody? Oh, I'm sorry. You're still here? I'll tell you what, since you are, why don't you go ahead and lead into the match. Again? Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead without further ado and go to ringside for this big three-way attraction. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for tonight's main event? For the CCW Championship belt. Which means what? Triple threat, you will see three amazing athletes battling it out for the belt tonight. First, out of Osama, Georgia, welcome to the ring, Logan Stevens.
And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with another exciting main event here on Superstars of the Ring. I'm Craig Young, and ring at ringside, the challenger, the outlaw Jamie McKinnon, facing not one but two tough challenges in the Jesus Fig Logan Stevens, who just knocked off the apron, and Kikino Palomalo getting his first CCW title defense, their title chance here in Wake City. Wow. Jamie McKinnon brought the top of his head right into the sternum of Kikino Palomalo and then spine bustered him. Logan Stevens with a reversal. Jamie McKinnon stops him dead in his tracks, arm to the back. Looks like he's bringing him up for a pile driver. He just fell straight back with him. Both of these men just decimated on the mat. Jamie McKinnon is in rare form here. McKinnon bringing that elbow right across the back of Kikino, who's draped over that second rope. I really thought this was going to be less of a three-way dance and more of a handicap match. Jamie McKinnon adjusting that knee pad down, just brought the brunt of his knee right into the head of Logan Stevens, and then returns right back into the kidneys and back of Kikino Palomalu, who's hung over that rope. McKinnon just wailing on both of these men. Again, I thought this would be more of a, oh god, that chop. Just sounds like a ricochet. Just like a bullet echoing through this building. And he got him again. Kikino Palomo, look at his face. That is a face etched in pain. Logan Stevens finally back on his feet. Jamie McKinnon calling for the lariat early. Finally, somebody is taking Jamie McKinnon off his feet. Logan, a couple forearms, and they're going to team up here. Sending McKinnon into the ropes with that double clothesline. Kino Palomalu and Logan Stevens are both had the opportunity tonight to become the new CCW heavyweight champion. Again, whipping both men, whipping McKinnon to the ropes. A lot of tandem offense, but their timing just doesn't quite seem to match up here. Both men are going to try for a suplex here on McKinnon. McKinnon came into this match a house of fire, laid out both of these men. However, the numbers game has caught up to McKinnon. Both of these men, one-on-one, -on -one, are an incredible challenge. Wow, McKinnon just swinging for the fences here. Just being rocked pillar to post between these two men. Big chops on both of these men. Just not a lot behind it. Kikino. Looks like McKinnon got to Kikino's eyes. Logan Stevens is waiting for him, though. Oh, Kikino with a headbutt. Logan Stevens with a reverse back kick. Stevens is going down for two. Oh, Kikino wisely aware of what's going on. Looks like all friendships are over here. Again, the prize tonight is the CCW Heavyweight Championship. I'm sure these two men were going to come into this with just a little bit of a, of a plan. Let's make sure Jamie didn't walk at her with it. Oh! The Ken, both these guys with a double elbow. The Ken, it looked like he was going to try to catch him up. There's a roll up! Kikino with a two! Wait, no! No, so close. Kikino trying to take advantage of that opportunity. And Logan Stevens with the forearm brings Kikino right to the corner. Arm drag out of the corner. Logan Stevens is still just trying to. Oh, and he gets reversed with an arm drag. Just trying to. Looks like a hip toss. Just trying to get his bearings here. And he's getting that momentum behind him. And again, another uh, hip toss from Kikino. These two are just trading hip tosses and arm drags here. Big foot from Logan. Picks him up for a scoop. He may be looking to go to the second or top rope here. Logan Stevens, again, just trying to shake off those cobwebs from McKinnon's earlier assault. McKinnon down on the floor. Messing with our new ring announcer here. Wow, what a miss by Kikino. Had him lined up. Logan Stevens kind of, again, on wobbly feet here. X Factor. Logan Stevens is going to go for the pin here. One, two, McKinnon out of nowhere. Saves the match. That stopped all of Logan Stevens' momentum right there. 
McKinnon had more than enough time to just get his air and, and watch Kikino and Logan tear each other apart in the ring. And this right here is where Jamie McKinnon is at his vilest. Look at him. He's just, oh, big back kick by Kikino Polamalu. Sidewinder. Kikino could not capitalize on it. McKinnon wise enough to roll to the roll to the corner. In fact, he rolled behind referee Mark Falcone. All three of these men are trying to get back to their feet. Again, we're we, we're a finish away. One of these men landing a bomb, landing a big move, and becoming a new CCW champion, ending the long reign of Jamie McKinnon. He's trading these punches back and forth. Neither men able to knock each other down. Kikino just sticking his chin out there. And now he just stuck his head out there right into the chest of Logan Stevens. Both men trying to line up. Big rolling back kick. By Logan. Logan's going to try. Just can barely get cover two. Wow, was that close. Look at Mark Falcone's face. Two, three, two and three quarters there. Logan Stevens staying on him though. Bring Kino back to his feet. Looks like he's gonna set up for a pedigree here. Kino trying to reverse out of it. Kino into a cross face. He's got him in the cross face right in the middle of the ring. We're a tap out away from a new CCW champion. Jamie McKinnon trying to get back to his feet. Wow, just stopped the progress. Kikino had him. Kikino was less than a second away from a tap out. Wilkins Stevens wasn't going anywhere. Jamie McKinnon just tossed. Kikino right from the middle of the ring. He's got Logan Stevens right where watch. Brings both those knees down in the, an arm bar. And he goes to the cross arm breaker. McKinnon is wailing back on it. Not normally a submission move we see from Jamie McKinnon. Again, Logan Stevens is in the middle of the ring. He's tapping. He is tapping out. Logan Stevens has tapped out to the champion, Jamie McKinnon. McKinnon retains the CCW Heavyweight Championship. McKinnon's not done there, though. That just because the bell ring doesn't mean the fight's over for Jamie McKinnon. Stomping on that arm. He, that, that easily just injured arm. Kikino back on his feet. Kikino for the save. Jimmy McKinnon quickly got out of that ring. Kikino checking on his opponent. I think that is what may have just cost Kikino the CCW Heavyweight Championship. Sportsmanship aside, he had the Jesus Freak Logan Stevens in that cross face in the middle of the ring how close do you have to be to beating the outlaw jb mckinnon mckinnon survived another big main event here on ccw superstars the ring now okay you know uh Maybe I shouldn't have been in that match. You know, I'm, uh, you got you had Jamie McKinnon in that match, and that was a uh, that was that was a little brutal. Um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, Frankie. Listen, with with all due respect, and, and I know I've I've goofed on you in the past. Uh, Jamie McKinnon is absolutely the most 100% serious individual. Maybe not just in CCW, in the history of this this industry. And he's not something to be taken lightly. So yeah, you probably shouldn't have been in that match. Yeah, maybe. Uh... I I don't I, I I don't wish the kind of anguish that he causes on people. Lord knows I've been on the receiving end a couple of times myself, and you saw how that match ended. Yeah. And he is still the CCW champion for a reason, and he is absolutely going to remind everybody about it. And of course, you know what that means. That means we have an interview with Jamie McKinnon, the outlaw himself. Let me tell you something, CCW wrestling fans. Look who the champ still is. That's right, it's the outlaw. They put me against two men, but it didn't matter whether it was two men, three men, four men, five men. What about nine? 
I come out here to the baseball field looking for a baseball team to fight. CCW has decided to put me in the worst situations of any champion they've ever had. Well, guess what? I don't really mind. Because listen here, Commissioner Marshall. I'm not taking a knee during the National Anthem, but I will take somebody's head off if they mess with me. Now I'm here to tell everybody, the roster, and I'm here to tell you fans that if you miss a CCW wrestling event, it's shame on you because I'm your champion and you should be at the building. I'm selling out everywhere there is. We're moving on to bigger and better buildings. You understand? I am your champion. I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, that was. Uh, I, I, if you can eke out that kind of a smile towards Jimmy McKinnon, because I mean, that dude evokes fear on a level that I, I you know, nothing else can. Well, we know Frankie's always doing a little, little smiling, but uh, right now I'm just a little, you know, words powerful, words powerful. You know what's even more powerful? Lariats. Lariats are very powerful and we they hurt. That happen. Yes. So, we all happen. so, um, all right, guys, I think, uh, I think this is a, uh, this is a new, Frankie Morris, maybe, as, as far as the, the World Heavyweight Championship goes. So maybe maybe I'll put my eyes somewhere else. Maybe a, a different Listen, I, singles championship, you know? You know what? That may be a good idea to try and work your way up. It, it, gunning for the top is definitely every wrestler's dream, and it should definitely be the goal for anyone. But, I mean, when you're squaring off against a, a just outright violent veteran like the outlaw Jamie McKinnon, you need to rehearse for it. You need to train for it. You need to work towards it. And there are definitely some other. Maybe the alternative championship. That's a good start. Start. Southern States Championship. You know, I could steal the Southern States championship. championship. I could be I the know. next prodigy to hold the alternative championship. You know, there's a few routes for me personally. You know, we don't have a women's division. All right. Um... You know, that being said, we've got your hand in it. Okay, sorry, Blitz. You know what? How about you finish up the show? I'm just going to leave because I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of being treated like this by uh, Brian Blitz. It's not fair. So, you have fun, dude. Have fun. Well, ladies I'm and gentlemen. Underhanded, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still owe me gas money. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I guess uh, until next week's show rolls along, we'll definitely have some more information and some more great action here at ccwrestling.biz and Superstars of the Ring. Uh, for the departed Frankie Morris, this is Brian Blitz. Until next week, I'll see you at ringside.